Hey everybody, I'm Kai, this is my friend Chris, and this is another Math Minute. Hey Chris, what, what's that on the board? It looks like a house. It is a house. It's called a fact family house. Oh, I see. What's a fact family house? Well, a fact family are three numbers uh, that are like a family and they all go in the house. And somehow I have to add them and subtract them and they'll go in this house. Do you want to see how it works? Yeah. Okay. So, say I have the numbers 2, 3, and 5. That's, that's my fact family. And they're going to go together in some way so that I can add them and then they can equal one of the numbers. So, I have... I can do 2 plus 3 and that equals... That's 5! Yeah, because 2 plus 3 equals 5. So that is one of my fact family. So I would do 2 plus 3 and that equals 5. Oh! Yeah. So I think of, I have to think of two addition problems Okay. and two subtractions. So I've done okay. one addition and then I have to think of two subtraction problems. So let's see, I did 2 plus 3 equals 5 already. Do you see another way that maybe I can add them? Um, maybe 3 plus 2? Oh yeah! I can flip-flop, or it's called related addition. Ah, oh, okay. I would do 3 plus 2, and that equals 5. So that makes sense. 3 plus 2 totally equals 5, because math makes sense. Yeah. So three plus two more, let's see, three, four, five. Yep, just checking. Perfect. So now there's another way that I can uh, put the numbers together, but it's going to be a subtraction problem. Oh, yeah. now it's getting tricky. So how would I put these numbers together to make a subtraction problem? Well, um, maybe if you just kind of switch it around. Mm-hmm. Let's see, I have the numbers 5, 3, and 2, and I have to use the probably larger number, I'm going to think. Because let's pretend you gave me five cookies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Because we, I would share. Yes, exactly. So if you gave me five cookies, and let's see. What we, if I wanted two back? Okay, you took two back because you were hungry. And I said, okay, well, yeah, we can share. What would that equal? That would We would be left with three cookies. Three cookies, you got it. So, I can write that, but what I want to do is I want to double check. So, let's see. I'm going to just draw the five and make sure that makes sense. Okay. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Take away two. So, there are my five cookies. I have to take away two are of them. Are those chocolate cookies? Oh, yeah. Your favorite? I like chocolate chip. Yes, he does. So, let's see. Five. Take away how many? Two. Two. Let's see. One. And that's two. How many do I have left? Three. Three. So that does make sense. And we yeah. can write that down as our fact family. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. So that, oops. then I would do five minus two equals three. Three. Yeah. All right, so now it has, we have to do another one. So what's another way that I could put this? I heard you um, five minus two equals three. Can you, can you put three minus five? Ooh, okay, let's try it. Three minus five, and this is the last number, and it has to go in the fact family. So three minus five equals two? Hmm, let's I, think about that's this. That's kind of, I don't know, that, that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, and math's supposed to make sense. So, let's see, if I drew three, one, two, three, can I take away five cookies? If I gave you three cookies, could I take away five of them? No, 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 no. All right, so I'm thinking. Because there's only three up there. Exactly. So I'm thinking that the numbers have to go in a different way. So let's see. Which one, which number do you think is like the greater number? Because we're probably going to have to start with the greater number. Well, five's the greater, biggest number. Okay, so that's. So that's the greatest number. All right, you got it. Because it's big. So, and then we've already done five minus two, so what is the other one we can do? Okay, we can switch it around and put the three there. Five minus three equals two. Two, you got it. And I can think of it, so if I gave you five cookies, Kai, and I took away three, one, two, three, how much would be left? Uh, one, uh, two, two. Two, got it. So then I can write five minus three, 
equals two. I like your handwriting. Oh, thank you. And so that is our facts family. I have two addition, two subtraction, and they all make sense. Do you see that? Yeah. All right. I think you could do one on your own. So let's go ahead and try another group of numbers. Okay. Okay. This time the fact family numbers are three, five, and eight. So Kai, yeah. how do you think we can put um, this together? Because we have to think of two addition and two subtraction. Oh, oh, okay. Well, we could start by maybe uh, three, five, and eight. Okay. So uh, three plus five equals eight. You got it. So three plus five. Oh, let's move it up. Three plus five equals eight. Eight, and that totally makes sense. If I add three and five together, I'll start here. Five, six, seven, eight. That makes eight. So I can write that as the fact family. I'm smart. <laughs> yes, you are. All right. So can you think of another way? Another addition? Um. Well, uh, we we can mix them up. Okay. Um. Maybe we could do five, eight, and three. So. Five plus eight equals three. Oh, I know. You're looking That's... a little confused, right? It doesn't quite make sense. <laughs> That's okay. Let's see. If I did five, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, if I add eight, that's yeah. already a bigger number than three. Yeah, that looks, it doesn't make sense it's, to me. Yeah, it's more. So uh, this would not be the way that it would go. No. So is there another way that maybe we could do this me. instead so it makes sense? Hmm. All right. So we have to remember we already did three plus five equals eight. Oh, I get I know. Yeah. Five plus three equals eight. Oh, okay. Let's try that. Five plus yeah. three equals eight. Eight. And that is the related addition fact. Three plus five equals eight. We do a little flip-flop. And then we have five. Flip-flop. Can you say flip-flop? Flip-flop. Flip-flop. And not the kind that you wear on your feet when you go to the beach. No. <laughs> All right, so let's go on to subtraction. Now it's getting tricky. All right. I know you can do it, Kai. What I just learned earlier was you, you could put the bigger number or the greater number yeah. first. Got it. So it can make sense. Eight. Now what? Maybe three. Three? What do you guys think at home? Three? Okay. Eight Did you know three in French is trois? <gasps> is it? Yeah. Awesome. I know I, I know that. What about in Spanish? Tres. Tres. Good job. All right. So eight. Take eight. away three. One, two, three. Well, equals five. So I think that completely makes sense. So here's our next one. Eight minus three equals five. five. You got it. I think we should do... Eight started with eight again. Got it. Because this is a greater number. Bigger than three and five. <laughs> oh, and then we could do five. Because we already did eight minus Because we already did eight minus three. Mm -hmm. So eight minus five equals three. Okay, so we have our last thing. A minus five equals three. Okay, everybody. Now it's your turn to do some fat families. Maybe you can use cookies like the way we did earlier. But maybe you can use some real cookies. Mm. Now, all this, all this cookie talk is making me hungry. You want to go get some? Yeah! There's a bakery down the street. Can, let's go. Can you walk us there? Yeah, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> 